Welcome back! In this video, I will be making an abstract flower garden using the balloon smash technique. I will list all of my supplies in the description box below. I am starting this project by covering the entire canvas with white paint, including the sides and the corners. I am using my glove hand to spread the paint because it is easier for me to make sure the entire surface is covered. Once my hands are clean, it is time to add the color. I do not have a specific order I am using. I am picking up one color at a time and drizzling it on top of the white paint using different patterns. When I get to the black paint, I am only using a small amount. Black paint goes a long way and if I am not careful, it will take over my painting. Now it is time to tilt the paint over the sides of the canvas and try to level the paint. As a side note here, I wish I would have tilted more paint off of the canvas at this step. The paint was layered very thick and I had a harder time towards the end with the balloon smash technique. I am adding white paint for the next step, then I am going to swipe. Again, do not have too much paint sitting on the canvas. All acrylic paint pouring techniques do require a balance of paint and consistency in order for the techniques to be successful. Using paper towels that I cut into about three inch strips, I am dragging the white paint over the colored paints. I am using a clean paper towel strip for each swipe line. I am continuing to swipe until I reach the length of the canvas. This is super fun. Now I will use my plastic palette knife to pull some color up into the white top background. I am using the natural lines of my swipe to help pull the lower and top sections of the canvas together. These lines will be the stems of my flowers. Again, I have left too much paint on the canvas and you can see the lines of color start to fall into the white. While this was a little challenging, it is okay. It's all part of the fun. Now it is time for the balloon smash. Using a small balloon, I am dipping the balloon into an area of the swipe that I do not like and then I'm dipping it into the white top background. If you are familiar with stamping, this is very similar. I am stamping the colored paint that I am picking up from the swipe and applying it into the white background to create the flower petals. How cool is that? In between each stamp or dip or smash, however you wanna call it, I am cleaning the balloon with a paper towel. Can you see the color sinking into the white? Yep, too much white paint. I am continuing the process until the color starts to stay in place. Remember, as I pick up the paint, I am also removing paint from that area. Stamping the paint only puts a small amount of paint into the stamped area. Overall, this was another super fun project. I have not used this technique on a large canvas before, and I have learned a lot. I will be doing this again, but leaving less paint on the canvas. I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned some new tips with me. Please leave a comment in the box below and let me know what you think about this project. Thank you for painting with me and I'll see you in the next video.